hello. I'm really sorry I'm late. I actually was just reminded, number one, I'd completely forgotten that it was Friday, but also I have been filming um, some video content and I have just edited what was originally a three hour long gameplay video of Dreamlight Valley into around an hour. So holy moly, I just couldn't finish, I couldn't start the stream until I'd completed that. So uh, the purpose of that video was I wanted to see how much of the star path that I could complete within one day of the game. So you'll see that hopefully tomorrow if I've kind of got it all sorted in time. Uh, but I've been waiting for people to come to the restaurant because it's kind of a little bit ridiculous. Right now I've got no one with no orders. It's been like this for an hour. So I'm hoping if I leave, come back, do some other things, some people will come along. Also, I've got no plants, so rain is just annoying to me at this point. Uh, so I've played a solid three hours of Dreamlight Valley today. I was working this morning and I expected to be working like a full day, but they let us out a little bit early and the boys were out doing other things because they didn't expect me to be finished from work. I thought I would do a bit of a challenge on Dreamlight Valley that I have been wanting to do but really couldn't set aside the time. I couldn't justify three solid hours. Uh, so it was a fun one. But now I want to actually get into the quests because I haven't done any of them yet. So the first one that I've opened up is the one that starts with Buzz. Let's see where he is. Neve, I can't even with those emoji things. Uh, Buzz is in his house. I don't blame him because it is not great weather. <laughs> oh, there he is. This is the problem with Buzz because he's so teeny. Okay, right, so we're starting the new quest. Buzz Lightyear, I have another mission for you. It's a code G7B. An action figure is missing its removable parts. Close, Space Ranger. Missing component is a code G7, G6B. G7B is search and rescue. Remember those aliens that wandered away from Woody's carousel? At the time, I suspected a few were unaccounted for, and I was right. I now have intel that many of them are somewhere in the village. We have to find and rescue them. Precisely! Those toys could be out there frightened and disoriented. Have you seen the size of the squirrels around here? They could turn those aliens into chew toys in no time. Okay, where should I start looking? We'll need to do a survey of every sector of the village. There's no telling where the aliens might have gone. Toys are highly skilled, hiding in the backs of closets, behind beds, between couch cushions. Got it, I'll look everywhere in the village. Surely they're not gonna be in closets. These aliens can be a bit shy. They might not all come out of hiding at once. Keep an eye out for them while you complete your regular duties. I suspect they could pop up in multiple locations. Okay, so for those of you just joining us, I already um, have been playing quite a bit of Dreamlight Valley today and I've done quite a few duties from the star path. But if you are doing it, you know, in a normal way, then perhaps start this quest first because you might be able to knock out a few things all at once. What is that? Ah, it's an alien! Oh, they're the actual aliens. The actual aliens from the movie. Also, I do need to um, see whether or not I can get some shrimp. Oh, is it raining still? Is it raining? I think it stopped raining now. Sometimes it's easier to fish when it's raining and I do still need some shrimp from Dazzle Beach. That is one of the star path duties that I am struggling with. They, oh! Here's little alien guy. I am hoping. I was wondering earlier on while I was doing it whether or not there is some correlation between the actual time in real life and how many guests there are at Remy's restaurant. You know, like if it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, is that a bit of a weird time for a lot of people to be in the restaurant? Because it would be in real life. Whereas lunchtime and dinner time would be busier because at this point, there's just like hardly anybody in there. Also hardly any blue bubbles on Dazzle Beach, which is a problem because that's the only place that I can find the shrimp. I'm not even sure what this is leading us to. So we've got Nala. Who have we got as the new people? We've got Nala and Simba. 
I haven't watched anything about it because I kind of wanted to be surprised. Also, when I was playing earlier, I couldn't even with this. Hang on, let me get rid of the fishing rod because I don't think it will. Let me do it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing Dreamlight. I'm doing uh, Animal Crossing controls and it's not having any of it. This. Do it. Do it. Why aren't you doing it? Why were you doing it earlier but you won't do it now? I wonder if she needs like extra energy to do it. You know, like the skatey thing. Yes, you need to have the yellow bar. I realize now. I, s I noticed that I had the yellow bar when I did it earlier, but I did it completely by accident. I'd seen a picture of it. I'd seen a picture of what, like the, what it was gonna look like. Um, but I didn't know what it was gonna be and I haven't watched any videos about it. So it was a total surprise when because I've been so used to playing Animal Crossing this week, I was just like absent-mindedly pressed the B button to make it go faster and was like, whoa, what did she just do? It was great. It's definitely one of my favorite little things that has been added to the game. Oh, do you think maybe the little aliens might be inside the buildings with him saying that it could be like down sofas and stuff like that? I think maybe. Which companion am I using? Companion like the villager guy, because I've just got Goofy with me right now because we've been fishing. Um, what is this? Kind of want that. No pet. I've got, what is he called? Puka? The Moana pig. I've got him with me. Um, Pua, Pua, that's the one. Moana wasn't really, oh, they're my Mickey Waffles. And um, Moana really wasn't my entire vibe. Like of all the Disney movies, I don't know if it came at like a weird time for the ages of my kids or what, but like, I like the music and all, but it didn't do it for me like it did it for everybody else. Um, oh, you're using a new one from the Star Path. So I did cash in some Star Path tokens already. But I don't think that I... Let's see. I don't think that I got the new... Mm hmm... See him. This guy. He is pretty cute. Maybe I'll get him next time. He kind of looks like he's made of um doll whip. He's cute. Yes, the butterflies! I literally said that when I was recording. I said I felt like the butterflies were oh I'll collect these now. I was avoiding Ah, I thought that might be a new quest. I was voiding picking up all of the little bits that I saw around the valley because I didn't want to do any twest, uh, twists, because I didn't want to do any quests yet. Um, I think I was thinking quests and tasks, twests, but I'm going to pick all the stuff up now. Also, will there be anyone in the restaurant now? Ah, finally, we have a new customer two new customers tekamaki and a shake anyone on this side of the restaurant and aurora's cake we can do that not a problem oh, some of these i've definitely never seen oh there we go i do really like is that just like any any dairy what it's just soy that's the craziest thing ever Okay. Um, no, it's gone. Whatever it was that I was saying was so boring. Even I can't remember oh, what it was. Hello. I have your order, Merlin. There you go. <laughs> I think Merlin's a real favourite of mine. Um, Maui even though I did just a moment ago say I wasn't really the biggest Moana fan. I do like you as a character and I have your order. Enjoy. 
Uh, and then finally, and I'm hoping this will fill out my move, uh, fill, fill out my final one for the star path. I have Aurora's cake for Scar. I love it. I thought you would. It's what you ordered. You literally got exactly what you ordered. Right, let's see what my next task will be. Eat beignets! Why does it keep asking me to eat 10, like, super carby, doughy meals? Does it want me to just sleep for 300 years? Okay, so earlier on I made, um, anyone know how to pronounce this? I said bunyelos, but not a clue. And I said, there's something that makes me feel like those are like savory beignets. Also, the last day that we were in Vegas, we had, well, Lee ordered them. I ordered like a regular breakfast and he ordered beignets and it was the biggest pile of beignets that you've ever seen. I would say that in the UK, they are very close to seaside donuts in like texture and just the whole thing about them. It's very, very similar to seaside donuts, a little bit breadier. Um, super delicious, of course, but we couldn't possibly have even eaten them both between two of us, and that was like our portion. It was crazy. Any aliens for any aliens? Do you know, I'm gonna go into. Oh, we did it! I love it so much, and that wasn't even on purpose. It's just uh, second nature to press the B button in any game that makes you go faster. Uh, right, I'm gonna have a little snoop around and see. If there are any aliens. That's a weird way to sit down. Any aliens? I love that she's very proper. Look at that. That's very prim, isn't it? It's beautiful. Um, right, I'm not seeing any. I don't think there are any in here. I just don't know whether or not he was being literal when he said that they would be in closets and behind couch cushions. Or if it was just like, they could be anywhere. I mean, for the sake of argument, let's just have a little look in Mickey's house as well, if they were gonna hide anywhere. Also maybe in, what well, would they go back to the scene of the crime? They wouldn't go to Woody's carousel, would they? Would they? Also, I think that if they were, was she gonna, is she gonna sit properly again? Cause why does she lower herself down like she's pregnant? I feel like if they were hiding somewhere, then there'd be like a sparkle or something, wouldn't there? Mm. And there's nothing. I don't think they are. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C. -E oh, started a new quest with Remy. Right, let's pick up some garlic. Also, you're welcome for my vocal stylings. Um, I'm gonna visit my friend Emma at the weekend and she said, uh, you know, what should we do? We were going back and forth, you know, different activities we could do. Um, I have not been drinking at all recently and she said, well, you know, would you want some cocktails? I'm like, well, maybe on Easter Sunday, bit of a celebration. Um, and she was like, oh, we could do cocktails and karaoke, like, sold. Way, we found another one. Uh, I am all in for that. Love me some karaoke. Also, love me some Disney karaoke. Mine and Emma's Disney go-to karaoke song is Pressure from, I can never remember the name of the movie. The most recent, I can remember multiple words that are associated with the movie, but I can never remember the name of the movie. I wanna say Madrigal. I also wanna say Coco and that's not right at all. What is that film called? I wanna say Bruno. Multiple words, not the actual name of the film. Encanto, I've got it. Neve, thank you, Encanto. Um, drives me crazy. Right. We've not got that many of these little alien guys and we've been to a lot of places. So I am feeling like maybe they will be inside some houses, but I 
don't know where. Maybe we'll go. Let's go inside Anna and Kristoff's. Can't hurt to look. And their house has been one that I have found multiple things in. I mean, you know, specifically for quests for them, but still. Ooh, what? Have they got like random bricks on the floor? I must have dropped those bricks there at some point. And like this music. What makes something copyright, not copyright? I don't know. Unless, of course, I've turned off the streaming settings and it's just playing all the music. <laughs> Every possibility. Hmm. I am also a little bit nervous. Oh, maybe I should dig as well, just to be safe. Um, I am a little bit nervous that I've like put things in weird places and maybe they will have populated behind some stuff. Right, that is not anything to be worried about yet. Hmm. Like in really awkward places and maybe I've positioned things in such a way that they can hide a little bit better. Especially because there's just so many. Like surely they would be in very plain sight if there are so many of them. I don't know. But we will be coming back up here very shortly because I'm going to want to... Um, where's the event gone? I'm going to want to come and pick some more garlic. Oh, we need some more shrimp still. Right, let's get back down to Dazzle Beach and see whether or not... I mean, did we already... We must have already found one on Dazzle Beach, right? Well, let's just, like, really scour it. There might be one somewhere else. There's lots of things just like hanging out on the floor on Dazzle Beach. I could easily have missed one of these little guys hiding in a weird place. I mean, they wouldn't be in this weird cave, would they? Also, do you think that anything's ever going to happen in this weird cave again? Because obviously this is where Ursula came from, but are we going to see anything else happen? in this weird cave i don't know i mean there's the potential for sure like this could open up could be like a whole thing could be a whole thing kind of love it but it'd be a shame for it to just be oh we don't need that anymore also feel like maybe i need to rethink eric's oh do you know what? once we can move that uh whatever those things are called the like pillar thing uh, I think I'm going to put Eric's house on that island. Oh, I love that Eric's on the cliff up there. That's just like the movie. Like when he's just like, oh, wistful thinking about Ariel. Like, oh, where are my people? Where is my beautiful person? That is completely Eric's entire vibe. Right, let me see if there are any blue bubbles on the beach. Is that like sparkly noise? Is it the music or is it telling me something? Oh, and the music changed. Just for a second. Uh, right, how can we get into the carousel? Because maybe there are some aliens in here. It's possible they came back. You never know. I really want to be able to go in that photo booth. Hopefully that will become usable as an activity. I love a photo booth. Oh, and I've just reminded myself that photo booths exist in The Sims. This evening, I, my, my like, while we're watching, not Scandal, while we're watching Succession, this evening's fun for me is going to be, um, I'm going to make a like a shopping center. This was Ella's idea. Ella said, oh, have I tried the new photo mode? No, I have not. I will in a second. Um, Ella said she wanted like a, a shopping complex where everything was there all together. And then I started thinking about it and thinking, oh, I kind of want to make that. So I'm going to build that this evening. And now I've seen that photo 
booth there, I'm absolutely 100% gonna put a photo booth in this shopping complex. It's gonna be great. Right, when I get out of here, I'm gonna have a look at the photo mode. Also, Laura, if you wouldn't mind visiting my Animal Crossing later and bringing me some flowers, that would be great because I do want to continue my crazy flower seed quest. Right, what is, ooh, it's got a new picture, okay. I do love that. That's really cute. It is. <laughs> oh, are you going to witness? Ah, I did! I'm kind of glad that that happened, if I'm honest, because it happens to me constantly. I mean, thank the Lord I hadn't caught shrimp and it stopped me from keeping that as an accomplishment because that would have been painful. Speaking of which, I am gonna run down to the beach and see if I can do that immediately. Any blue bubbles? Reminds me of the, uh, oh, oh no. See, this is not helpful because, ah, uh, no. These, these gemstones and these um, little bits of like leaf things, these little plants, both look like the aliens from a distance. Not useful. I wonder if it's like, I, I mean, I don't want to Google it because like I said earlier, I, I like to be surprised with these things, but I wonder if they are actually in people's houses. Not seeing any blue bubbles, which is annoying. Also, I cannot wait until um, the game it's free on all platforms because once it's free on all platforms, I'm gonna download it on my Mac, uh, which I haven't even checked, but hopefully it is actually available on, so that I can do decorating and paths and stuff like that from my Mac because laying paths and just decorating of any kind is so annoying with a controller on the Switch. Just super annoying. Oh, the blue bubbles, they do appear in the same day. I've had five so far, um, but I was just kind of trying to see how much of the game that you could complete within like one legitimate day uh, without the game kind of limiting you. And I feel like that's what it did with the um, restaurant. It was like not letting people in, I'm absolutely certain. It wasn't like refreshing the number of people that were ordering things. Oh, the aliens, maybe the aliens don't appear on the same day. Yes, that is a really good point because he did say, okay, that didn't, the A didn't come up with anything else. Okay. The rest of them just said sit like that. All right, so maybe I'll check her closet as well. No. Yeah, he did say um, they wouldn't all appear at once, so maybe that's true. Maybe that's another thing of like making sure that they aren't coming out all at once. No, I don't think they're going to be in there. Call me crazy. But I don't. Right, let's start Minnie's quest then. Minnie, I found this book lying around the meadow. Thought it might have been Merlin's, but it's got notes in your handwriting stuck inside it. Thank you, I've been looking for that everywhere. What were you doing with a spell book? Looking to become a wizard? <laughs> oh no, not all. I borrowed some books from Merlin because, well, I wanted to find out everything I could about what happened to me. What, you became a hologram? What happened to you? You mean when I disappeared to the here and there? I've been having some trouble sleeping, so I'm just worried it might happen again. Oh my God, sounds like Minnie probably should be medicated. I'm sorry you're feeling that way, Minnie. Have you consulted your GP? Oh, thank you, Michaela, but it's not me I'm worried about now. If I could disappear, then anyone could. Sometimes I look at the other villagers and I'm frightened they're starting to disappear right before my very eyes. I just know there has to be an answer somewhere in Merlin's library. There must be some way that we can make sure no one ever disappears again, but I can't make head nor tails of any of these books. I'll go to talk to Merlin and see if he has any ideas. We have to solve this. I want you to feel safe here, Minnie. You're so kind, Michaela, and I do, mostly. I was trying to figure all of this out without bothering Merlin, but you're probably right. We should ask him for more help. 
I'll keep trying to find, I'll keep trying to see if there's anything to these books that might be a clue while you talk to Merlin. I would love to be of assistance. Mini, let's put you as our main quest. Um, I think you're probably right, Laura. No more aliens for today. So let's get on with another quest. I swear to God, I completely forgot about it. And then I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> oh, it is so fun. Oh, Merlin, Merlin. Where for out thou, Merlin? I loved that Goofy was just like running for his life and then spotted me and started casually like, that's cool, I'm not, it's fine. Everything's chill. Is he in the restaurant? My camera work leaves a lot to be desired today. Ursula always is asleep. Totally agree. Really annoying. He is in the restaurant. Hello. Hello. I'm Akila. I believe I know precisely why you've come to speak to me today. It's Minnie, isn't it? She's got herself in quite a jumble. Worrying she might disappear again, hasn't she? It's Minnie, all right. She asked me to come and talk to you. We need a wizard for this. Well, yes, I suppose you do for matters such as this. Is there anything in your magic books that can help? Actually, I've given it quite a lot of thought. We'll use the most powerful kind of magic there is. First, you'll need to speak to some villagers. They always make us speak to the villagers and ask them what they like best about Minnie. Maybe I should ask Elsa, Anna and Moana. Why? It's the most random people. Surely it would be Mickey, Donald and Goofy. Once you've spoken to them, you must bring me some dream shards. With all that, we can sort out Minnie's dilemma. Or at least I very much hope we can. Off with you now. <laughs> Off with you now. Let's see where everybody is. Moana. Oh, that is useful. We've got Moana and Anna both in the shop. Excellent, girls. Perfect, perfect. Works for me. Hello. She kind of reminds me of my grandma. Excellent. I think she'll love that. I will tell Minnie that she reminds you of your grandma. Uh, <laughs> you have a look on your face, Michaela. I have something strange and possibly magical to ask you. Right, so what's your favourite thing about Minnie? Huh? What I last, like best about Minnie? Ooh. Are, you, are you ready? <laughs> That's a tough one. I guess if I have to narrow it down. How she always makes me smile, Anna. Oh, she's also so kind and funny and notices the little things around here. She makes me laugh. Did that help? Yeah, that was a lot better. Bye. I would say considerably more thoughtful than Moana's response. I was saying earlier, Moana is not my favorite Disney film and I didn't really get into the hype that everybody else loved Moana so much. And I'm feeling more and more happy with my my feelings about Moana. Uh, right, where is Elsa? She's usually kind of like keeps herself to herself. Yeah, she's she's in her ice castle. She's chilling up there. Let's go and see. Let's glide up to Elsa. I mean, another huge thing about this new benefit of like sliding around is it's definitely going to encourage me to cook because I never do cooking in the game um, like unless I have to for a task but I now will Hello. so that I have enough energy to use that glide function because it's too cool um, Elsa what is your favourite thing about Minnie she's great at truly listening to you and gives wonderful advice but it's really the listening that sets her apart that is everything. That is perfect. You've been a great help. You and Anna really were the only ones I needed to speak to. Why she would want to be likened to a grandma. When I kind of think of Minnie as like, she's a young woman. She's the beginning of her life. I don't think she would want to be grandma Minnie. Not, not yet. It's not what she wants to be told she's like. Have I only got four dream shards? How can that be? Yahoo! <laughs> right, well, I suppose I should uh, go and dig up some sparkly patches then. Maybe that's why I've only got four dream shards, because I hardly ever dig up the bits on the ground. I did earlier on today. Also, oh, there it is. I was going to say I did also 
dig one up and leave it because I didn't have space for it. I'm sure I can find another one. Ah, there's another one I dug up and didn't have space for. I mean, there's no wonder really, is there? Right, I wonder if he's still in the restaurant. Time to find out. This is never gonna get old. Can we turn this quickly? Yes, yes we can. And we can't bump into anything. It's fantastic. If only driving was like this. Woohoo! Oh, there he is. Still in there. Yes, give him the items, give him the information, which just maybe edit it out a little bit when we give it to Minnie. What's the spell, Merlin? I'm afraid we've had a bit of a misunderstanding. I merely needed these dream shards for my research. Terribly sorry. What? I thought you understood. I'm afraid there isn't any sort of spell or enchantment that will solve Minnie's problem. There must be some way to help her. Oh yes, not to worry, there certainly is. You see, what protects Minnie, what protects all of us here, is an altogether different sort of magic. Friendship, love, care, that's what binds us and this valley together. And kind words and small favours are the source of all of this magic. Minnie simply needs to be shown that spirit will never leave this place. Hi, Becca. So that's what you wanted me to tell all the villagers. Oh, so this is um, a bit of a moral of the story situation. It will remind her the love binds us all together. Right, so I'm just going to pass on all of the nice things that Anna and Elsa said. And I'm, she doesn't really need to hear the grandma bit. I think that's, she could do without that, to be honest. Uh, so we're gonna go and uh, see Minnie and see if we can help with her recently diagnosed anxiety disorder. Let's see if she's still in her house. Cause I mean, it's very dark. So maybe she's not in her house, but then I'm not in my house and it's very light, so. Mm. I also haven't done any decorating of the valley since we got any new stuff. And I think I've got like a castle I can live in now. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, can't get around. Why? <laughs> Just walking through her. No, I don't want to cook. I want to talk to Minnie. Why? Why? Oh, there we go. Was Merlin any help in sorting out my magical model? And the books he lent me had so many interesting, so much interesting information, but nothing that will help us. Merlin gave me a very powerful spell. He did. What sort of spell? Are you ready? Prepare yourself. It's a spell that binds this whole village together. It's a kind of magic that runs on kind words. Really? That does sound like a very special kind of magic. Merlin got me to talk to some of the other villagers so we could remind you of how important you are. Elsa told me how you are always there to listen to her whenever she needs a friend. Anna told me Nobody can make her laugh like you do, except maybe your laugh. And Moana. Okay, that's fine. That's an edited version of what Moana said. She said what she loves best about you is the strength of heart and that you never give up no matter what. Oh, I don't know what to say, Michaela. That is so sweet. And I'm very grateful. But how does that stop us from disappearing into the here and there? Great question. Because that is the magic mini will never disappear again, as long as we always make sure everyone feels loved. Of course, it's so simple. I'm a little embarrassed I didn't see it before. Well, I guess I can return these books to Merlin. As long as you and I are here, I know everything will be okay. Cause I'll always make sure everyone knows how loved they are. And I'll always protect the valley. It's kind of funny, it reminds me. Oh, you thought of something else. I was so worried about everyone disappearing. I didn't realize how much clay I asked you to bring me to build the rustic clock tower. Was it too much? It was so much clay, Minnie. I didn't realize how hard it would be to find. To thank you, I found some clay myself and I want you to have it. You can build whatever you want. And Uncle Scrooge says he's so happy. The rustic clock tower is helping him keep time in the village and that he wants you to have a little reward too. Oh my God. Here you go. What is it? What is it? 50 clay and 500 coins? 50 clay is a lot. I appreciate that. I have no memory of making the rustic clock tower, but I really appreciate that. So it kind of reminds me. Oh, bye Neve. Have a nice dinner. I'm going to be going in, in, in a minute as well. Um, kind of reminds me of when I was a kid and I wouldn't sleep in my own bed. My mum wrote a book. It was like 
paper but she wrote a book and illustrated it and it was like um all about a bed and just generally things that were unloved and didn't feel appreciated and it was like a little girl me who went into her room one day and her bed had disappeared i'm sure somewhere we must still have this um but it was a great idea her bed had disappeared and uh she was really sad because the bed wasn't there and then she had to like hope or wish i can't remember but we saw where the bed had gone to and it was like in this world, in this land where all of the things, all of the, like forgotten toys and forgotten things had gone and the bed and they were all just like floating around. And then I like cried and cried and wished the bed would come back. And then the next day the bed had come back. Um, so long and the short of it is my mom could have written this. My mom could have written uh, the script for this entire game. Uh, and with that, on that bombshell, that is gonna be it for today because as you can see from the little screen of me it's getting very dark it's nearly eight o'clock it's time for me to go and make dinner thank you for joining me hopefully tomorrow we can find more aliens and uh continue our new quests if you haven't already don't forget to uh follow me along subscribe wherever it is that you're watching and i will see you guys next time bye